Prius coolant drained. You can see all that metallic stuff in there. And here is it all just kind of healed in. So that's the thing. This stuff floats around your system. That's <laughs> the car system. But anyway, that's bars leak. It has worked. So I'm not sweating on bars here. I'm just saying this is, it's probably smart to drain your system if you're going to use any of these things. And yes, mechanics will tell you not to use that stuff. But not everybody's got three grand for a head gasket repair. Overfill reservoir, flushing it with super hot water, getting all that old, <clears throat> like, uh, jelly buildup from years of bars and um, Blue Devil sealant. All right, got this guy all cleaned out. The um, <clears throat> drain petcock is screwed back in, and we're going to do a flush. We're going to try this, going to run the heater on, or just set the uh, maintenance mode for 20 minutes, then drive around if you want a really good flush. But we'll see what this does to get all that gunk out of there. Then I'll drain it a second time to see what it looks like. All right, Bluetooth is disconnected. Turn the power button on. Gas pedal twice, hold brake, put in neutral. Gas pedal twice, hold down brake, put in park, and press gas pedal twice again, and then maintenance mode should come up and push power. There you go, maintenance mode is on. All right, we are about 10 minutes into the maintenance mode, burping the system. I have the Blue Devil cleaner and the degreaser going through the system now, which is fantastic. The fans have kicked on, which means the thermostats open up. Again, this 2013 Prius has 285,000 miles on it. It's had two head gasket sealers in it. One was a Blue Devil and one was from another shop. And, you know, when I drained it, it was so gummed up and gunky, but the car only overheated at about one hour on the freeway consistently going uphill which means something was clogged up so hopefully this this does the trick so i'm gonna go in and see if that heater's getting warm finally because once you train your antifreeze in this if you don't burp the system it's not going to run through the heater but the other thing is is i have a cleaner in here so there is stuff in here so don't be alarmed there's there's a cleaner going through here and i'm gonna run this for about an hour or two burp the system get the heater to work and then do this all over again just to clear this out all right, folks, 2013 Gen Prius, follow up. You see that? See how that overflow is coming in there now? We have burped the system. I cannot stress this enough. If you're gonna change your own coolant, I highly recommend, especially if you've had a gasket sealer in here, to put in a cleanser through here, take this out, clean it, get that gunk out, but you're gonna have to elevate this up for this in maintenance mode, you gotta burp all these bubbles out. Otherwise, your heater's not gonna work and you're gonna have air pockets in the system. So to reiterate, Gen 3 Prius, you can open the pet cock if you have got some room underneath, like I did without pulling the paneling out. Close it back up, clean this up, get some, uh, some, some radiator cleaner. Got some vapors coming out of there, interesting. Anyway, so I'm gonna run this for about 20 minutes, but anyway, the system's been burped. I'm gonna make sure I got enough radiator fluid in here, but that's it. All right. This is the second time I bled this because I ran the chemical stuff, uh, the Blue Devil cleaner and degreaser through it. So I did that the first time on maintenance mode because the heater wasn't coming on. But yeah, you can see that line's getting lower and lower. So, so far I've put in about three quarters of a gallon. I don't know how much more, more this will take in total, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> 